is um, for the new year is to get organized. So today we're talking about how to declutter your closet. We have Houston Life reporter D Brown in the house showing us how to organize your closet without spending a fortune, which is key, and how to let go of some of the old stuff, which I think is a hard thing, D, for a lot you know, of folks. It's super hard, but I really think it's a, an emotional type of thing. I know for me, I had to really ask myself, D, why are you holding on to this? Why do you have multiples of everything? And I realized how much money I was losing, how much money I was spending, and my husband was getting super upset about it. But I just realized I didn't need a lot of this stuff. So it was kind of like of an emotional cleansing for me, too, if that makes sense. So what's the first tip when you're looking? Because it can be overwhelming when you stand there in your closet and go, okay, I need to get rid of X, Y, and Z. So the first thing you want to think about, we're going to actually head over to this okay. pile of clothes here that I actually cleaned out of my closet, seriously. So we're just going to dump them out here. And this is just stuff, and it's so embarrassing. I actually have a Louis Vuitton bag here, stuff with tags that are still attached. It's crazy, yeah, I so know. So why are these going? So those, those are going because I don't really wear them. And that kind of brings me to my first thing. If you haven't worn it in a year, you're not probably going to wear it. And so there's no point in keeping it around because it just creates clutter. So, so get rid of it, okay. You want to get rid of it. All right, jeans, you know, I know, or skirt, this is a skirt, but jeans, is anything denim. Anything denim, I don't wear it, but then you have to also examine the quality of stuff. When you start getting threading that are kind of like just making it come apart, if you have yellow stains and white t-shirts or the quality of pieces is starting to deteriorate, you don't want to keep that around. Even overstretched pieces, and this is another good example what? here, the quality. This one actually has a really, and I feel bad because it's such a cute purse, but it has a stain here, and it came from a marker that was in my bag. And so it damaged the purse. I was still holding on to it, although I didn't wear it. And you know what? It's just time to toss it. It's time to let it go. It's time, time to, to let, let it go. go. All right. And then we got some sequins. Come on, party girl. Oh, you know what? I bought this because it was on sale. Wait, this I still had, has a ticket it still on it. It has a tag. A couple of items here still have a tag on it. I just bought that because it was on sale. I had no reason to buy it. I had nowhere to go. And I actually don't even really like the skirt. So that skirt, as well as this one, it has a tag on it as well. So be willing to let go, even if it has a tag. Don't think, well, I might wear it. If you haven't worn it in a year, yeah. toss it. And another Put it thing, in your pile of... No, seriously. And another thing you want to think about, Jen, you want to think about, is this something that I would buy today at the mall? You know, okay. a lot of stuff in my closet, I'm like, ew, I wouldn't buy that if I were, like, in Nordstrom or whatever. Like, you have to think about those things. And if it's something that you wouldn't buy or something you wouldn't want your ex-boyfriend to see you in on the street... You may not want to keep it. Now, when you're doing, you know, pulling, your, your bait, when you're doing the purge part, yeah. are you doing different piles of, okay, this right. is going, absolutely donating? So and I do different piles, and we're, we're going to get to that later on in the segment, but I do create piles of things that I'm going to give away, what I'm going to sell, what I'm going to donate, and things like that. Okay, so let's start getting organized. Now that we've started getting some things that we're getting rid of out of the closet, mm -hmm. what are the best things to get you organized? So once you get all of your clothes out that you don't want, you're going to be stuck with a pile of clothes that you're going to keep. So you want to make sure that what you have helps you to have more space in your closet. I recommend velvet hangers. They're super cute. They're flat. It helps you to maximize your space in your closet. And they even make really cute ones for your kids. Oh. So I have these actually in Dylan's room and the black like, ones are I in. so know that Dylan has those oh, in his closet. I hooked my baby up. <laughs> I was like, okay, let's do this right. But velvet hangers are great. You can get them for a really good price. I got like a stack of 100 from Burlington for like 20 bucks. So wow. it's super affordable. You can go to Burlington, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. A lot of that stuff is actually marked down. Okay, so a one-time purchase, yep. not too, too bad. Okay, why do you have a paper towel holder? Well, I left the paper towels in the back. No, I'm kidding. No, <laughs> I have a paper towel holder because this is a way to kind of get smart with organizing. We've kind of talked about the clothes and purging them and actually putting them on the right hangers. But this is perfect for organizing, like, your watches and your bracelets. So it allows you to stack all of your bracelets up, and it keeps them in one place. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. But see, for me, all of my jewelry is everywhere. And everywhere. my husband gets so annoyed, but I'm like, I figure it out. It's okay. Or, or it's in drawers and you don't remember yeah, it and you, don't you remember. never wear it. Stuff on top of shit. I'm telling you, it is ridiculous. But this helps you to keep it, you know, in place. You may have an old one hanging around. This one was actually seven bucks at Ross. I've seen some cheaper. It's cheap as five bucks like at, you know, Burlington and Marshalls. And oh, stuff. wow. All right. So uh, I'm kind of digging what you did here with clutches because I think purses, it, that's, yeah. a, that's a toughie. It can get bulky and crazy. I'm still trying to figure out the, the master plan behind um, actually, you know, organizing those bulky purses. But this is a mail carrier. So this is perfect for your clutches. So this helps you to put your clutches in different spaces. It you know, just kind of eases in there like that. It's very cute. It's clean. It adds a piece of decor. You can even use it to kind of, you know, 
Put your sunnies in there. So. Oh, that's a great idea, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. Now, what I do with my purse is I do the clear box containers so yeah. I can see everything. Yeah. So, and I do all different sizes, put them all in there so I can see. But I love this for just to add a little touch of decor Adds a and little pop. prettiness. And that's to the it. thing, you can still do that and still organize everything because it doesn't have to be like just some super annoying, unhappy thing because you're going to already be unhappy because of the fact that you're getting rid of clothes. And like I say, it's, it's an emotional attachment. And just for me, sometimes I don't like getting rid of stuff that my mom has given me because it has more of a sentimental value, yeah. although. I don't wear it, so I don't well. tell her that. Shh. Mom, we don't, we're not telling you that. Okay, so I know one of the problems for me is flip-flops. You know, I, it was just like stack up or stack, oh, piling yeah. them up. Yes. And then they fall over, and then mm -hmm. it's a mess. <laughs> no, well, here's the deal, Jen. Let me, hopefully I can help you here. You can get a dish rack, okay? And you can get that for about three bucks as right. well. And you can actually stack your flip-flops in the dish rack. So it helps to keep them all together in one place. And you don't have to worry about them being all over. And you know, we're in Houston. It's hot. We wear yeah. flip-flops year-round. So it's a great way to kind of keep everything together. And then if you have the pumps, the heels, and all that, you can get the little clear containers that you can have that you have the top to go over it. You can get that from the Dollar Tree, a buck per container. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. All right, I guess more than the Dollar Tree then. Yeah. So let's talk about, we were, you know, when you've gotten, your, you've gotten all your clothes, what mm -hmm. you're gonna purge, mm -hmm. where am I gonna take it? What am I gonna do with it? So of course we all know we can donate to the Goodwill or the right. Salvation Army. Right. That's the first thing you wanna give back. I love giving back and things like that. Um, but you wanna make sure that you keep your receipt so that you can use it when you file for your taxes. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah. Um, another thing that you might want to think about, and this is actually my favorite, one of my girlfriends does this every year for her birthday. She has a swap party. So we all have to bring clothing pieces and things like that to swap with one another. It's really cool, actually. But for the items that um, no one picks up, she donates them. So she's still giving back in a sense, and she's swapping with her friends. Um, and I know for me, I have a little cousin. She loves my clothes, and I'll send them to her or my sister-in-law. Let somebody else have them. Let yeah, somebody else enjoy somebody them for a while. Them. Or you can make a little money if you want. Why not? Exactly. So you can sell them on eBay. Um, you can sell them on Tradesy.com, especially if they're designer pieces and you want to really get a bang for your buck. Or you can go locally to Buffalo Exchange. You can get like 35%, I believe, back on each. So are you a fan? Are you a fan? Like when you've got, you've gone through and you approach your closet and you wore something, changing the hanger around so that oh you my know, gosh. so then you can see. I color coordinate everything too. I do too. And so like <laughs> all of my blazers are in one section, all of my dresses, and then I color coordinate it. This is just crazy. My husband, like, my closet is, like, good, and then his side is evil. So it's, like, good versus evil, seriously. <laughs> Don't All tell right. him I'm talking uh, about <laughs> I got two things not to tell your family now. Oh Dee, thank you so much. Yes. Now you can come over and play in my closet, and oh, we can have some champagne and get me all organized. Yeah. All right, coming up next, how to stay cyber safe.